Hey y'all! Sai here with the first attempt at commentating one of my videos. I get a lot of requests to tell people about how I go about starting a war zone, rotation, heals, LOS, you know, the such, the things that keep sorcerers alive these days. So, here it is. Usually I start the fight by multi-dotting everything I can see because that's just how our class works. People can claim that that's not something to do, all it does is boost numbers, it's a cheap way to get, you know, DPS, whatever they want to say. The fact is that all the specs that we have, aside from maybe healing, all benefit from having multi-dotting thrown into the rotation, specifically Affliction. If you're playing Madness, multi-dotting targets gives you far more heals than you would any other way, and playing the Hybrid or even Telekinetics or Lightning, you get a Lightning Barrage or psychi Psychic Projection. Anyway, usually if I am going into a fight where they're pretty much spread out, it will start with a bunch of afflictions on multiple targets, and then once that's all out there, I will look for either a healer or something that will probably burn easily. And seeing as how in this video in particular I'm using the hybrid spec, I also have polarity shift and a and of course recklessness. When when I'm using this spec and all my dots go out and I get my lightning barrage, I usually hit both of those at the same time because that's upwards of 8k damage within at least three to four seconds, which maybe not compared to a power tech is still a fairly large amount of damage. Once that's done, I just start burrowing into the healers. Once the healers go down, I move to the harder to kill targets. If I am for whatever reason interrupted in this, a melee jumps on me, someone taunts me, whatever, that's when I start changing up the rotation because most people will agree that sorcerers, you can't plan what you will do with them. A lot of classes you can't either, but I would say sorcerer is probably the easiest to throw a wrench into the gears and change up everything. That's usually when LOS comes into play. This game in particular didn't have me utilize much of LOS, and the LOS I tried to do apparently doesn't even exist. As you can see right now, this tree is not doing anything for me. So instead, I just go about dotting everybody I can see, using AoE when it's applicable. I usually do anyway. If some people ask a lot of questions about Deathfield and when it should and should not be used. Well, there is no point where it should not be used. Even if there's one person in front of you, you use it on them. It's a little bit more important, I'd say, for balance because, you know, you get the increased dot damage, but any spec, if you've got it, I would use it on anyone because damage is damage, and as a sorcerer slash sage, we don't have enough of it. The game is going fairly slow. Have to just kind of scan around to see if there's anything I can kill be aware of everything as a sorcerer, by the way. That's another tip, and some people don't seem to use it enough, and will usually just call hacks if someone pays attention a little bit too much. You can see here, my character decided to flip around for whatever reason, but there was a huge group of people just lined up for lightning storm and a chain lightning, which I did use fairly well. Then I go into my normal rotation, which is dot everybody. Maybe throw off a lightning, a uh, force lightning, and get a, uh, Crushing Darkness proc, and then I'll use that eventually. I don't think I did here. Yep, there it is right there. Then I go about, if there's more than three people in, in a radius of, or in the radius of uh, Force or force Storm, I'll use that to try to force another proc. Otherwise, I will wait for a Lightning Barrage proc. I may, if it's, if Wrath isn't available at that moment, then I will hard cast a Lightning Strike and then follow it up with Force Lightning because that gives me the chance of the proc, and it's a little bit extra damage that most people don't really see coming from a sorcerer. It's not the greatest damage, but seeing as how my lightning is much, much faster with the proc up, I might as well use my time casting something that could potentially give me even more damage. At this point, you can see they've decided to group up again, and I went for force lightning and quickly got the proc, and was able to throw it on at least, I think, three of them there started dotting everybody. My cooldowns are up, so I'll probably start using it. Side note with Polarity Shift, if if you are using a spec with it available, you I would suggest you try to be always casting something that has a cast time. Try to stay away from instants as long as you can unless there's an opportunity to get a whole bunch of damage out of a death field or lightning storm. Otherwise just keep trying to trying to cast force lightning or uh, 
lightning strike should you choose to like I did just there and it got me the proc. Fortunately there is nobody around to throw it at. Another lull in the in the combat. I'm waiting to see who comes out and then I find two people over here. One of them apparently has given up and doesn't feel like moving anymore. So I decide to use him as a dot guinea pig. Another thing you may have just noticed there is that the camera almost screwed a death field. People need to be careful with this game's camera. This game's camera likes to go haywire and make you put your AoEs on top of buildings. Can't stand it, but it happens to me a lot. I think the game is about on its way down. So, that's it. This is my first attempt at commentary. Hope you guys enjoyed what I could tell you. I'll try to make it a little bit more official and uh, organized in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys.